Meet me, I'm an actuary, also me, a data scientist. I used to calculate insurance premiums, now I'm operating with coding models. So when company needs to hire a data expert, what version of me should they choose? Hi, I'm Arturs, a numbers guy from Latvia with a passion for making sense of uncertainty. For the past four years, I've been deep into the world of financial risks. I spent over three years working as a pricing actuary in non-life insurance, crunching playing patterns and tweaking tariffs. Now I crossed into the world of fintech, working as a data scientist. I build scoring models to help people to access fair loans faster. On paper, this role seems different. Different industries, different tools, even different job titles. But underneath it all, it's still all about the same thing. Understanding risk to help business make smarter, more informative decisions. So I thought, who would better explain the dilemma than somebody who has been on the both sides? At first glance, actuaries or data scientists may seem to come from different worlds. One from insurance, the other from tech. But if you strip away the industry labels, you will find that they both rely on the same foundation – statistical risk analysis. In smaller countries like Latvia, we don't have a dedicated path to become an actuary. There is no specialized actuarial science degree, so most of us take the scenic route. We combine courses from statistics, mathematics, finance and programming to meet the educational requirements and pass the professional actuarial exams. That's what I did. I studied statistics and financial mathematics, and guess what? That's exactly what most data scientists do too. We all start with probability theory, optimization, data. We all learn to model uncertainty. So from employer's side, this choice becomes even harder. If both understand the same math and both can code, who is really more suitable to solve the problem? Whether it's pricing of an insurance policy or approving a loan, we are just trying to answer the same thing. What are the chances something goes wrong? And if it does, how much it will cost for the business? Now let's take a closer look at what really sets actuaries and data scientists apart. Starting with industry focus, actuaries are most commonly found in insurance and pensions, focusing on pricing, reserving and insuring solvency. Long-term financial is sound decision-making. The best friends of an actuary is traditional GOM model and credibility theory. Worth to remember that actuaries are not optional figures. Insurance and pension industry is highly regulated and requires a company to have one to produce formal reports and documentation for auditors and regulators, mitigating the risks and compliance with the requirements of solvency too, for example. Data scientists work across tech, finance, retail and more. They are not tied to a specific industry at all, rather than companies that can produce sufficient form of data for a reasonable statistical analysis. Data scientists tend to work on prediction, optimization and uncovering insight, often in past pace or experimental environments. They are also much less regulated and thus can utilize a broader machine learning toolkit, from XGBoost and random forests to deep learning and natural language processing. Data scientists are also more likely to present findings through dashboards, notebooks or storytelling slides for stakeholders. There is no such thing as statement of appointed data scientists that regulators would ask company to provide. So even though both roles use data and math, they approach it from very different angles. And that's exactly what creates the employer dilemma. The toolkit is different as well. For both actuaries and data scientists, everyday life is hardly imaginable without SQL for data extractions, R for statistical modeling, different Power BI dashboards, and of course inevitable Excel. For actuaries, this toolkit actually covers a line part of necessary software, supports with specific resource calculation software, and little to no code modeling like SAS or Emblem. For data scientists, though, there is much broader software toolkit that is both essential and useful, as data scientists are frequently not only analyzing, modeling and reporting, but also communicating with IT, deploying models, implementing containerization, and keeping up with model version control. Both professions have their strong sides and weaknesses, and for an employer, it would be useful to see how they look on a SWOT plate. While actuaries are acknowledged and trusted for the deep demand knowledge, they are exposed to slower adaptation pace and might be seen by other industries as too narrow speciality. Same time, data scientists are more flexible and can adapt quickly, but due to rapid migration between industries, tend to lack some deeper business understanding, chasing accuracy of the model and overfitting it. In a world of uncertainty, both actuaries and data scientists are trying to answer the same question – what's next? And we do not want to start a fight between actuaries and data scientists. We need bridges. It's not about choosing one or another, it's about building teams where both can thrive. And future doesn't lie in titles, but in talents that can think critically and adapt fearlessly.